Get yourself dressed, woman. <laughs> I know. You're not looking proper for YouTube. Nothing feels better than a hot shower after a cold, sweaty run, though. Oh, good morning, vlog. I am doing the Tip Hill Shamrock Run, I think it's called. Heading up to the start line. It's actually like a really pretty winter day out. It's 30 degrees, it's snowing. I haven't ran outside in a long time, so this should be interesting. I'm gonna take you through my day today, and I'm gonna kinda pick it up right now, cause typical care of fashion, running just a little late. Wearing this Under Armour coat Jay got me for Christmas. Hellraiser buff bunny leggings. Brand new Saucony sneakers I just bought. Super cushy, and hoping they work out pretty good. Wish me luck. Don't recommend wearing mascara for race. It's <laughs> fucking crazy right now. Get me out of here. Race went really well. It was just the snowflakes were coming down so big. They kept landing in my eyes and it was making it hard to see. Did the race on, I wouldn't say an empty stomach. I had my protein coffee this morning and that has like 350 calories in it. So I didn't want to overdo it. I brought a banana with me. I brought an energy goo with me. I didn't need it. I will show you guys my stats once it uploads to Fitbit, but I think I finished the four miles in 38 minutes. I think it was like a nine and a half minute mile average, which was pretty good considering the elevation. It was a little, there was a little bit of flat here and there, but it was mostly uphill. It would kind of taper out and then you'd go uphill again, a little bit of downhill. So it will be interesting to see how my body feels. But for now, I am soaking wet because it's partly raining out. So I'm going to get myself home because I've got a 40 minute drive home and I just, I'm not even hungry. I'm usually not after a race because sometimes it can make your digestion feel a little wonky. So I'm just going to drink a lot of water and put Jason on blast for the good luck message he shared with me. Change my mind, I'm gonna eat this banana while I drive home just to get some electrolytes back in because I think I was sweating more than I realized. And cooking care is special wrap with their special sauce. I have a hair in my butt crack, you ever get that? You ever get special sauce? No, when you pull like a full hair out of your special butt crack. Sauce. So here is my pizzazzed up. That wrap. I like it back. She fit. Because then when that, in, like when it falls out, you just eat it separately. So it's almost Hold like- Hold on, do you people want to see the dogs? Yeah, because it's Bruce's birthday this week. <laughs> Jason will have an amazing birthday vlog for Bruce Wayne. So please go check that out. Jason Corey, if you're not already subscribed, tells a great story about how Bruce Wayne came about. Anyways, the wrap. Jason offered to make this for me while I was in the shower and now I am starving. Only had that banana post run, so I can't wait to eat this. But if you've seen it on Instagram, Care Corey Fit Life, you know it ain't cute. This is not first date food, is it babe? It is not first date food. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should keep the little fork in there while I try to eat it. Why don't you tell them it's in there? Okay, we have... Since it's a full day of eating, they kind of get a really... True, no, what's up? What's up? We use these whole wheat wraps, the Father Sam's wheat wraps. They're so good. Jason cooks them up on the stove top with a little butter. A little butter, carry gold butter. Just crisps it up a little bit and just really brings out the flavor. And then it's all warm and crispy. On the innards, we have organic ground turkey, with asparagus, onion, bell pepper, garlic. Did I already say onion? And then- and the onion and garlic, I keep raw because the health benefits of it raw. Yes. It gets ruined if it's cooked. <clears throat> Correct. So we've been doing lots of raw onion and garlic. For the sauces, we use pineapple salsa with just a little bit of sugar-free barbecue sauce and sugar-free ketchup. Yep. A little bit of light mayo. Yep. And then I mayo the inside of the wrap. Oh, he mayos. See, that's why I can't, I can't replicate this. I, I mayo the inside of the wrap. I butter with my finger. I take butter and scrub it with a little sea salt. Clean finger, I hope. Oh, I just got done pooping. <laughs> Enjoy. Let's see how, it, how, how, how she tastes. How should I do this? Well, you gotta take out your fork. Oh, I have eaten this on camera, haven't you? You have, it's messy. They know it's messy. They know what's up, it's fine. I offered to make less stuff inside. I want it beefy. It's perfect. 
We are having a little extra caffeine today. Jay and I went to Starbucks. I wanted something warm after being outside in the cold this morning, so I got a flat white made with coconut milk and sugar-free vanilla. And then I did just add a splash of my friend's creamer in there because it was still a little too rich tasting for me or bold tasting, I don't know. Then I'm gonna have a second banana. That other banana I ate was real skinny. So we're gonna have a little more banana because that always goes over well on my stomach. And I'm gonna do a Power Crunch bar as well, the triple chocolate, another item that for me goes over well and will give me a little protein, fat, and carbs. So it is definitely dinner time. It's a little bit later, it's 7.30. Jason and I are trying to <laughs> We're trying to rally tonight and stay up late for the UFC fight because John Jones fights tonight. And we love John Jones and he hasn't fought in like three and a half years. So we definitely want to be able to stay up till 2 a.m., which just being honest, that's not something either of us do. So we went out, got some groceries and I'm tired from doing the race outdoors in the cold. So I just did not feel like cooking tonight. There was no part of me that wanted to cook dinner. So Wegmans, a local grocery store we have, sells, you know, a lot of pre-packaged, -pa pre pre-made foods. So I got this sweet and spicy ahi tuna pokey salad bowl. Looks good, comes with a little sweet and spicy sauce. I'm gonna put that on there too. Pineapple Jason cut up for me, so I've got a bowl of pineapple with it too. I don't think I mentioned this, but oh, that's, that's thick. Almost looks like jam, so thick. Um, I am tracking macros again. I just kind of started. So got a couple things coming up that I just want to hone in and be a bit more mindful of my own nutrition. I don't know how spicy that is, so I don't want to go too hard on it. I do very well with intuitive eating, but just to be more cognizant of what I'm eating and how am I doing overall with protein, carbs, fat, all this stuff. I just kind of want to have a better awareness of it. So tracking for me always helps. So I am tracking today and I will update you guys at the end of the video what my macros ended up being for the day. But at this point in time, I'm not following any set protocols. And today I know is gonna be just a day that I eat more because I expended a lot of energy doing that race today, not only outdoors in the cold, also running hills, but also if any of you have ever ran a race before, you know, you spend so much energy weaving in and out of people. It's so much different than if you just go for your own run. I would love to know how much energy is expended doing that because man, does it feel tiring when you're trying to just get to your pace for what you want to run and you're trying to dodge in and around people while running up a hill. It's very, very tiring. So today's just one of those days I'm going to eat for how I need to eat. And additionally being up till 2 a.m., probably gonna have a couple of snacks tonight. So I'll share that all with you. I just wanted to mention that today was a little dip in my toes in for racing. I don't wanna say racing season because it's not like I, ra I enter races. I don't race to beat other people. I race for myself and to improve my times with running. I'm gonna be doing the mountain goat again. If you followed my channel for a bit, I did this last year. It's a 10 mile hilly race in Syracuse where I live. It's the beginning of May and it's a very difficult, challenging course. This 10 mile course, I remember when I was in my heyday of running marathons, which a marathon is 26.2 miles. The mountain goat is only 10 miles. Nonetheless, I remember always feeling like that race was so much harder than my marathons because I often would do the Ottawa Marathon, which is Memorial Day, and that always felt easier to me than this 10 mile mountain go. So we're gonna um, train for that. And I'm just kind of really trying to improve my cardiovascular fitness this year. I am on the cusp of a new decade of my life and my goal is just to be as fit and healthy as possible. I wanna enter in this new decade just honestly feeling like my best self um, internally and externally, I guess. I don't know if that's vain, but I just wanna feel really good about myself entering in a new decade and just embracing aging and appreciating it. So with that in mind, I just want to level up a bit more this year. I spent 2022 leveling up in terms of 
refocusing on my strength and consistency with my lifts. And I was consistent as fuck in 2022 with my lifts. Cardio I did on and off. I did great when I did my summer cut series. If you watch that, I did excellent. I had excellent results. And for me, cardio always is the way for me when I wanna lean out, just doing a bit more cardio or doing it more consistently. Uh, always helps me out. So I'm working towards that with my training to the mountain go. And then after the mountain go, we'll see where things take me. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at in terms of fitness and nutrition. Let me take a bite of this so we can see if it's any good. It's spicy. I like it though. I'm always craving fresh fruit after a run too, because even though I ran outside, I sweat sweated. Is sweated a word? I sweat a ton today. So anyways, that is where I am at right now with nutrition. I'm gonna track a bit probably for like the next month at least is my goal to do a consistent month worth of tracking. You know, usually I spend the first week to see where I'm at, see where things are falling, how are my macro splits looking because I pretty much at this stage know what I need to do with my calories and my macros to feel better. Or if I did want to lose a couple pounds, I, I know what those ratios and targets look like for me because I've, I've done it enough. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to kind of see where things are at, see how things are feeling. And then if I do want to cut, I'll let you know. Let me know if you want to see another cut series on this channel. If you do, what I need you to do is take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed here. Helps me out. Also hit that like button right now that helps push me back into your feeds, the algorithm, all that good stuff. Much appreciated. Anyways, for now, I'm going to finish up on my bowl in my pineapple. Then I got to feed those dogs because they are staring me down like, bitch, how dare you be sitting there eating your dinner while we are out here wanting our food. Mom comes first, though, you know? Baby bag of popcorn. Ooh, it's so warm. It feels so nice. I'm so cold. I feel really good about myself right now. Not because of my blanket dress. Because it's 1040 and we're still awake. Yay. Only three more hours till John Jones fights. Yeah, about that. <laughs> We're doing good. Gonna have a little snack. I am actually hungry and this will hopefully help keep me awake. I think it's just butter. I can't find the kettle corn one anymore. Oh, I don't. In like the mini bags. I'm not a big popcorn fan. I don't really like popcorn, but. He says that and every time he always eats like all the good bites out of my popcorn bowl. It has a weird flavor to it. You like it when I put a little coconut oil on it. I do. And pink salt. I do. I can't eat it straight in the bag. I might do that just a little bit. First things first, John Jones won last night. You know Diaz you, bros. If you know, you know. Next day, Jason and I, we went to a new gym, which we love. The dogs are allowed there. They loved, it was so much fun. Amazing equipment. Like, like literally the best equipment and actually- It was a playground. It was a playground and we talked to Molly, who's someone who's been local and actually we've worked out at a few gyms with her and she even said that. She goes, it's, she goes, I've been everywhere. It's the best equipment in the area. So we're gonna get memberships there. We'll, we'll keep our membership at Crunch, but just have a couple memberships, but really excited about that. If you're able to do a second membership, sometimes it just kind of re- it Reignites you. Reignites you, you, you know? Like I just felt today, I was like, I'm gonna get strong here. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. So uh, we're gonna close out this vlog day of eating. I did wanna share with you yesterday what I ended up eating for the day. It was, you know, every day is a little bit different for me. I mentioned before, I'm just kind of getting back into tracking to see where I am. Yesterday being that I exerted so much energy, I thought I was gonna eat a little bit more. I definitely felt hungrier staying up late. I ended up doing uh, my fitness pals, like a weird update. I had 17, it was like 1700 calories. Um, I'm surprised I was low on protein with that. Not really low, 104 grams of protein. I do naturally tend to eat about 110 to 120. That's usually my reference range. And I usually don't have any issues hitting that. I did 171 carbohydrates and 
72 grams of fat. So a little bit higher on in fat for me personally. Um, my body just likes more carbs versus higher fat, but I just listened to my body and ate what I wanted yesterday. So that was my day of eating. Oh, this morning, let me share with you. This is like my weekend breakfast. So a little bonus breakfast for you. Uh, Post-workout, it's definitely later in the afternoon. Well, not later in the afternoon. It's, it's early in the afternoon. It's early in the afternoon, later in the day for me to be eating my first meal. 1245 is like almost the end of the day for us. We I... got up at 7.30? Which we went to bed late. We didn't get much sleep. I guess my point was I like Our to time's eat. all screwed up. Today. Our time's messed up. It's a, it's a Sunday, so we'll want to go to bed earlier. So I feel like, not that I have to cram in food, but I'm like going to eat more calories in one sitting essentially is what's gonna occur. So I already ate these, but I had three of these Applegate Naturals chicken and maple breakfast sausages. I threw those in the air fryer. I already put the box away, but what's left here of Kodiak cakes. These are the cinnamon oat pancakes. These are my favorite. I don't put butter on them. I don't put syrup on them. I just like them plain and they just get so tasty. A little crisp on the outside, a little moist on the inside. I like it in my protein coffee. So this is a pretty good <clears throat> post-workout meal and a good start to today's eating. And I like to kind of enjoy a different breakfast on the you weekends. You mind if I plug something? Mm -hmm. I want to plug Kara's gut health food video. Thank you. Because this woman, <laughs> hold on. Okay. This woman got me eaten. Kiefer. Kiefer. So I've been eating. Wait, say it again. Kefir. I like the way he says kefir. Organic, plain, unsweetened. Mm -hmm. And I give the dogs kefir. Yeah. Goat milk. I'm like, I'm gonna try the goat milk kefir. You like it? I like the goat milk more. Cause it's got a little more fat in it. So it's a little thicker. Could you stop doing that on camera? <laughs> Anyways, uh, and what did we learn about kefir compared to just eating yogurt? I looked it up and there's just a lot more nutrients and probiotics in it. He just got off antibiotics too, so. Yep, so, which I haven't been on in a long time, and you know how that screws you up, so I'm like, give me all the kefir. I eat a couple servings a day now. Yep. Put blueberries in it. Now he stevia. loves it. Now I he's stealing it. it from the dogs. Hi. So I think we're gonna end the video here. I know a bunch of you I had asked over on Instagram commented, you like vlogs, you like full days of eating, so I thought I'd kind of combine a little bit in this one video here. So if you do enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button before you head on out of here. Make sure you are subscribed. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of the video was, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.